Hey y'all, spring has sprung and it's time for the April What's New. This month, I'm gonna cover new partnerships with trace parts, new modeling features like full round fillets, thin extrude, and even some drawing stuff like brake view and smart templates. So let's dive in. One of my favorite things about Fusion 360 is the effort and focus on partnerships with industry. Last month, we highlighted our Zometry partnership, and this month, we've got another doozy for you. I know I'm super pumped about this one. Trace Parts is the leading 3D digital content provider for engineering, design, and manufacturing. Now, Fusion 360 users can access their entire catalog and insert parts directly into the Fusion platform. I don't know about y'all, but it was a serious hitch in my giddy up when I needed work holding or other components for my process. Now, it's as simple as a couple clicks. Okay, real talk. This one might be one of my favorites this month. I've been modeling things before and wish there was a way to do a full round fillet. Well, what do you know? Now there is. Previously, to make a full round fillet, you needed to select both edges of your feature. Now, in the type dropdown, you'll find full round fillet. Once chosen, select the face between the two corners you want to apply a full round fillet to, and done. This one is also super handy. A couple months back, we released Thin Extrude, and now we're updating it to include functionality with open sketch geometry. You can control everything from distance and angle to thickness. If you've been using Fusion 360 as your primary tool for a while, you've known that we've been making major strides to increase the usability and functionality of Fusion's drawing space. I'm excited that this month, BreakView is now out of preview and available in the toolbar. And on that note, for those in that space, you'll see a newly revamped interface for the toolbar. Hope you dig it. And lastly, Smart Templates now has all level assemblies. Here's a quick recap for those who don't use Smart Templates. Under the file icon in the top navigation bar, select New Drawing Template. Run through the feature box's selection process to the right. And once opened, use the generic widget tool to place views and drawing structures that fit your needs. Once you assembled your page structures and all the needed documents, save your template. Now, when you have a design that you want to automate the drawings process for, you can select from a template in the selection window. Here, you can now select all levels. Now sit back and watch process automation at work. All right, that's it. Head over to our blog to see what's going on in the manufacturing and ECAD space for April's update. Oh, and also, check out the new Possible podcast where we talk with folks like you on how they're making the new possible. Episode two is out now where we chat with Vortic Watch Company. Links in the description below. See you next month.